Have you ever wanted to make a no-code transcription app that is super fast? Well, let me show you how you can make one just like this. The audio is being processed and here it comes. Have you ever wanted to make a no-code transcription app that is super fast? Well, let me show you. Indeed, I'm going to show you exactly what it's taken to build this in Bubble. Bubble is an amazing no-code uh, web app development platform, and I'm going to be using the blazing fast Grok Whisper API. If you have heard of OpenAI, maybe Anthropic, then you should also make sure that you are watching Grok, because Grok's USP is that they are building hardware chips that are designed for doing LLMs and AI stuff super fast. Uh, but before I dive into that, if you're learning Bubble, then click the link down in the description. If you want to get access to all of our Bubble tutorial videos, our latest Bubble course, uh, which is building a ChatGPT clone, and also access to our no-code builder community, click that link to get started today. Uh, but let me just show you every step that has gone into this app. So uh, in the editor, and this is not going to be covering much bubble UI design, it's just going to be really simple. Uh, I've got a group on the page and I've added in uh, this audio recorder elements. Now, there are several audio recording plugins on the um, in the uh, bubble plugin directory. This, I actually tried one before this and then I tried this one and this one seems to be working the best right now. So this is called audio recorder. And what you do is you add the audio recorder element into the page. It doesn't matter where on the page, it's just loading in the right scripts in order for the audio recording function to work. So then I've added in an icon using Bubble's new icon feature. Uh, and when this icon is clicked, I say start audio recorder A. And so if you're unsure where that is, you go into plugins, uh, or actually you go into element actions and you see audio recorder because the plugin is on the page i get access to all of these actions here so then it's recording and also what i've done is i've tapped into a state in the audio recorder so i've just got a text label here and i say audio recorder is a recording status and that will turn return a yes or a no a yes if it's recording uh, and so i turn that into if it's a no i'm writing the text ready if it's a yes, I'm saying recording in progress. Uh, and then I've got a stop button here, also using an icon. And I'm saying stop audio recording. And I've ticked a box saying save the bubble. And I'm naming the file test. And you can make that name dynamic. Now, this is important because if I go into Grok and look at the API documentation, they want uh, the file submitted. So you actually need to provide Grok with the URL of where, say, an MP3 file can be accessed. And that's what we're doing. We're saving the MP3 file to our bubble storage, and then we're sending it over to Grok. So let's, while we're looking at this, uh, let me show you how this is set up in the bubble API connector. So if I go into plugins uh, and go into API connector, scroll all the way down. Here's my Grok. Uh, so, uh, I've added in the Bubble API connector and the Bubble API connector allows you to connect to thousands if not hundreds of thousands of applications around the web. In this case, we're doing audio transcription. Uh, so I've labeled it Grok. I've got my private key in header. I've written the word bearer and I've got my private key straight out of the Grok uh, cloud uh, dashboard and you'd paste your own in there and I'll be disabling mine before publishing this video. Uh, how do I know that that all goes in that place? Well, I go back to the API documentation and I see that in the header, I need authorization, bearer, and my API key. I then have my endpoint here. So I would have copied that and uh, added in a new um, API call. So I've called it get transcription. I've made sure that it is an action. I've pasted in my call there, set it to post. And then by default, this is set to JSON. But uh, Grok doesn't want it in JSON, it wants to inform data. And I've just added in the mandatory required fields here, which is we've got file and I've got send file clicked there. And in order to initialize this, when you initially set it up, you want to have an MP3 that you can upload so that you can test it and click initialize to know that, know that it works. Uh, we then have got model, whisper large version three. We've got response format JSON. Again, where have I got those? Well, I've just got them from here. Uh, and let me run this again. So uh, this is a very short MP3 file of me saying something like test. 
and so I can initialize and there you go you can see how quick it is it's retrieved the file and it's generated the text and it says this is me testing the recording so I click save because by initializing it let me just run it again uh, this is telling bubble what to expect as a response so I've got my text this is what I'm going to hone in on and I've got grok ID I'm not really sure how I'd use that but I'll just click save uh, so now let's go back into our workflows I want a series of actions to happen when stop is clicked so I want uh, the recording to end and I want the recording file sent through that API connection to grok and then I want to show the results in the pop-up uh, so here's my pop-up so I've just set the pop-up type of content to text uh, that's like a bucket where I can store data and I can store text data in the element that is my pop-up you could do custom states this is just really simple and then I've got my text element inside and all I'm saying is basically group parent group which is the pop-up text and so that's how I'm getting the text out of the pop-up and displaying it in the text label let's look at how this is all happening in the workflow so first of all stop we've covered this save to bubble and I have a file name now one of the really frustrating and uh, you spend hours trying to debug this work out what's going on is uh, that bubble workflows don't necessarily run from left to right they will self optimize uh, and that can mean that if I was to put my grok uh, so if I find grok uh, get transcript if I was to put it in here uh, my file may not actually be saved I might be sending a blank URL to grok and therefore I get an error there's a period of time between clicking the stop button and my file being ready in my bubble app storage to have a URL to provide to grok and so the way around that is thankfully this plugin developer has added in an event and let me show you where this would be so it's in elements and it's going to be when a audio recorder saved that's what I've got here and so this is an event which will run only when the file is ready to submit to another service like grok and so now I've got my transcription step uh, and very important again easy mistake to make is when you print a URL most of the time from bubble storage it starts with slash slash it doesn't have HTTPS colon so I've added HTTPS colon in there so that it's like any other URL on the web in fact you could copy this into your web browser and your web browser's default audio player is going to start playing the audio file I then have show pop-up uh, and so this is showing my pop-up it says show pop-up text the text is because the type of content for the pop-up is text not because I've actually I'm showing pop-up text the pop-up text is visible anyway it's just within the pop-up uh, and so it's between step one and step two that we're waiting for grok uh, to get a response and then we show the pop-up and right away we say results of step one in fact let me clear this so there's no doubt on what's going on results of step one that's my grok call and I say text and therefore it's showing the text that's generated from the grok call let's give this one more run so I've refreshed it it's recording now and I'm gonna say uh, how can you create a no code app that does lightning fast audio transcription and I click stop and it's processing the file and it's uploading it to grok and there we go how is recording now and I'm going to say how can you create a no code app that does lightning fast audio transcription so there you go remember if you've enjoyed this video and you uh, want to watch more like it then hit like and subscribe that helps us on YouTube and also if you are serious about building an app with bubble then you've got to check out our library of Bob tutorials there's more than 300 there we've got our new bubble course about building a chat GPT clone with bubble uh, and also we've got our no code uh, bubble app builders community which is the best place to ask questions about building a startup not just about bubble but about marketing uh, product development and growth Thank you